Oh, this is funny. Uh, straight away. <laughs> Back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is, is a bit of a mix. Um, we've got a couple of unboxings. One of them is just behind me there, and one of them is just next to me here. And also some beers from a, a recent, uh, it's like a bottle swap with uh, David Wilson. Now, some of you will more than likely know David from, he supports a lot of channels. He does uh, a lot of, he does some uh, moderating for some lives. He does lots of comments. He, he, he supports a lot of the uh, the beer community channels. He, he obviously watches more than just the beer community. But uh, I actually met him uh, last weekend in Manchester. We went to Marble Arch, which was superb. We then moved to Smithy, Smithy which is the Blackjack's Tap, uh, which is a pub, which is fantastic. Uh, moved on to Shaw Shot, the tap room, and then went to Track, and we had a fantastic afternoon. Uh, and it was just superb to meet him, and, and so, so generous. I gave him some bottles of homebrew, and he has given me some absolutely cracking beers and uh, I've never never had them before. Um, a brewery that's not been on the channel before, one of them has. But well, let's get into it. Let me show you what David Wilson kindly, so very kindly, gifted there to me last week. So the first one is Sierra Nevada Hoptiman Triple IPA 2022. That is superb. It says, fancy seeing me here after all. The place can hardly hold 11%. I'm scraping the rafters, makes for a good view, and it's clear when a room needs what I've got in spades. Fruity, dank, and devilishly hoppy flavor. Your night is looking up, savor it, and don't blink, because I like to vanish in a puff of lupulin dust, lupulin from hops. Hoptimum Triple IPA Sierra Nevada Brewing Co. Wow, 2022 version of that beer. I am so looking forward to that. Thank you again, David. Um, like I say, 11%. So that was from David, superb. And guess what else he got me, he gave me? The 2023 version as well, which is just amazing. So I've got two triple IPAs, Hoptimums, from Sierra Nevada, kindly gifted to me from David Wilson. Thank you so, so much. I am really looking forward to these. I'm gonna have, I'm having a, a short break um, from doing reviews. Um, so these won't be out for a while. I've got a lot of reviews already in the bank, um, which is gonna take me till September. But when I've had my little break from reviewing, I'm gonna come back and these will be on the channel straight away. So. Let's say maybe about four weeks, we might be looking at seeing these on the channel, but I am really looking forward to these. I really, really am. So not only that, he then introduced me to a new brewery, Unbarred. And this is their big, juicy, and notoriously big take on our flagship pale ale, 8% ABV. Wow, made of Brighton. So Unbarred, so it says Unbarred beer, and more on the side there. And it's Unbarred from Brighton. And I think I'm sure David's been to their tap room and everything. And the, the cold, because they've been in the fridge, because obviously we met last week um, and I've not had time to do this. And I'm obviously not drank them yet because I want to give them the credit that the, 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 the credit that you, the, the, <laughs> what am I saying? I need to give them the credit that they, they uh, deserve. That's what I'm trying to say. And so we've got this one, and that just looks right on my street. Big, juicy, 8% pale ale. Oh, that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Now this one, it's another one from Unbarred, and I fell in love straight away with the artwork, Brighton Pier, and look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Limited edition, King Conquer, Coconut and Tonka, Bean Imperial Stout 10% ABV. Wow, look at that can out. That is amazing. Now, this one again, right up my street. Four beers there 
from David. Thank you so much, David. You're a top, top gentleman. We had a brilliant day. Can't wait to meet up with you again. Um, I'm just overwhelmed with them beers. They're, they're just all top quality beers. I can't wait to taste them and I can't wait to review them. So there you go. So let's get on to the next bit. Another unboxing now. Okay, so I've got a box, beer 52 box. Ah, this is from Slurpy Dave sent this to me. Um, thank you so much, Dave. I've not opened it yet, so I'm gonna get into it, see what's inside. I have no idea. He's not giving me any clues of what he's sent me. So this is totally, you'll see it as I'm seeing it. So no idea what I'm gonna see in this box. Let's try and get in there. Um, could be a jacket box, knowing Dave. You yeah. know, can imagine that's what he'd do. Something like that. Let's get into this. So what I'm gonna do. <laughs> ah, this is funny. Uh, straight away. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've got my Pringle boxes back. So I send beers over, I send beers out to people, and I put them in Pringle boxes because I think it's a great way of protecting them. And Dave has sent me boxes back. Also, another box. So we're gonna get these, let's put that on there like that. Right, what's this? And got a note, oh, wow. So make sure there's no letters in there, numbers right. So I've got a note. Wow, a little pamphlet of Sam, Sm Sam Smith's Brewery. Fantastic. I've actually got a Sam Smith's beer to review. And this comes in, this is gonna be superb. I'm wondering, oh, there you go, Stingo, I wanna get that's in my local bottle shop, Dave. Yeah, I've had quite a few of these uh, from Sam Smith's. Oh, that is superb. That really, really is. And I'm um, trying to see if that beer's on there that I'm gonna be, yes, it's on there. Superb. Thank you so much, Dave. That is really, really appreciated. It really, really is. Mrs. B's favorite beer's in here as well. That cherry one. That's Mrs. B's all day favorite. She loves that beer. Thank you so much, Dave. That is really appreciated. Let's have a look. So, dear Mr. B, please find enclosed free beers. Two you may have had, one you definitely haven't. Ah, it's in here. Oh my, I can't believe that. That's superb. Stingo, I just said is in my local bottle shop. Dave has gone and gifted it to me. That is amazing. 8.9%. <sighs> leaflet, yeah, that leaflet there. Um, double Max in brown ale. I've not had that either, Dave. So there's two beers straight away I've not had. A beer I created from the old, now defunct Volks Brewery of Sunderland, although in clear bottle, it's still good. Clear bottles, that's why I've always, that's, it's one of the things that's put me off buying it. I have seen it, but the clear bottle puts, puts me off because I think of, you know, the things that can go wrong with light strike and stuff. But saying that, a brown ale is not very hoppy, so it shouldn't really affect it. So I'm gonna really look forward to that. Again, these are gonna be reviews and we're gonna be looking at four weeks or something now because I'm having a little break from it. Um, the third one, Castletown 200, Castletown Brewery, Isle of Man. This beer is 43 years old, brewed in 1980, no ABV on beer, by the now defunct Castletown Brewery. Um, I've opened five of these old beers, two have been fine, one is just okay, two have been very dodgy. Best of luck, Slurpy Dave. Thank you so much, Dave. That is so kind, that is amazing. So that's gonna be a fun video. So I'm taking it. This is the old beer. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, look at that. Thank you, Dave. That is really appreciated because that's a proper gift, isn't it? That really is. Castletown Brewery. I'm gonna apo apologize. Looking forward to that. It, I, however it turns out, Dave, I'll be honest, and you'll tell by my face anyway, but I'm really looking forward to that Castle Town Brewery. Well, how old did he say it was? 40, nearly, nearly as old as me, 43. 
Okay, so we know what's in these now. But yeah, love the way I, I can reuse these, Dave, and send you some beers back, which is absolutely fantastic if I can get them out of it. Good idea, though, isn't it? These Pringle boxes. It's like getting your own back now, isn't it? Me trying to get into these. Just bear with me. And there we are, there's Yorkshire Stingo. I am so looking forward to that. Oh, no, that's a really, really excited about that Yorkshire Stingo as well. I keep looking at it in my, lo my, my local bottle shop and uh, yeah, I don't know why I've not bought it yet. It's, it's bizarre that, and that was one I mentioned in the pamphlet. Absolutely amazing, thank you so much. And that's gonna be with that little booklet there. Superb, you didn't have to do this, but I'm so glad you have, because it's amazing. And there we go, there's the <coughs> double maxing. And like I say, I'm pretty sure you can get that in the supermarkets. I'm sure I've seen that in Asda and Morrison's. So I'm looking forward to all three of them. That is gonna be fun. I might even get Mrs. B involved in that video. I think I will. I think I will. So there we go, another unboxing for beers. Thank you, Dave, really appreciate it. So very kind of you. And thank you, David Wilson as well, because that is so very kind as well. Okay, so the next unboxing. Okay, so the next bit is my get a brew delivery. So what have I ordered? I've ordered some, well, I've ordered some malts. Um, what have I got in here? <sighs> got some Pilsner malt, I've got some biscuit malt. Um, I'm gonna show you, it's, it's like all, you know, it's whole grain. Uh, we've got some chocolate rye malt. Uh, we've got some salts, we've got some gypsum, we've got some Epsom, and we've got some Marisotta. Along with, what I bought is, um, well, I'll show you what I bought. Got some tubing, which uh, I'm gonna need for doing this, get down here, here we go. So, this thing, this is for a corny keg, for my corny keg, and you notice, well, you, you won't notice, but basically this is a gas line, a gas post, and we're gonna have some tubing on the gas post, and at the tubing, we're gonna have a carbonation stone. Now. It's basically used for carbonating beer when it's in the keg. So you put some gas in, you set it to a certain temperature. I've never done it before, it's new to me, so it's something I'm gonna be doing that's new. Um, Shark, Kevin has done it before. Uh, he just said, you know, see how you get on with it sort of thing. Um, but that is in, that's a carbonation stone there that I bought. It's in there and I can't touch it because any oil from your fingers, from the skin, will transfer over. So I've got to read up and you know be really careful with that stone. That's a spare uh, post, so that's a, a lock. So that one, I think that one is a liquid one. So that's a spare one, so like this, one of these that goes on top of here, that's just my corny keg. But the setup really is gonna be this, sits on top of your corny keg, gas goes in, through the pipe, and then into the stone, and then CO2 will go into the beer, it'll dissolve in the beer. And like I said, I'm gonna do a lot of reading before I do it. It's just that some beers, I want to have a little bit more carbonation in the keg and it's just another way of doing it. So yeah, just wanted to show you that. Um, got myself some first gold hops as well, which is great. Some caps. Here's the malt. This is the chocolate rye malt. So you can see how I buy that, I sort of in that bag. Um, and this is a, which one's this one? This is a Pilsner mold. So I'm just showing you. There, if you can see that. It's, you know, a whole grain, and then I crush that myself. So I just merely wanted to show you a quick, you know, that's just an example of the stuff I get. But this, like I say, this is totally new. Carbonation, cap, lid for the corny keg, some gas line, the, like I say, the filter, which you've got to, touch, you've got to wear gloves. It's got to be clean a certain way. It's lots of things. So it's, it's a whole new learning thing for me that. So this video has just been a bit of a, a mishmash of beers and other stuff that I've ordered. Um, that liquid post, sorry, that corny keg uh, cost, the lid. Ooh, has it got it on here? It's not actually got it on here. Just got the uh, actual coding. I think, 
honestly can't remember how much it cost the court need the keg lid um, carbonating device <coughs> um, and then you've got the carbonation stone the gas line um, the liquid post like I said what on earth got something stuck to me on there uh, cherry red caps and then like I say the hops and then grains so it's just really to show you that's uh, get a brood is one of the places uh, when I get my uh, homebrew stuff from okay so I think it's been long enough this it's just been like a, an unboxing and all bits and bats and stuff so yeah okay well I've also had this beer sat here for a while now I've been doing this it's slightly gone a bit dead like but cheers thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it a life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops